The Tri-5 ERX Motor Park. Exciting thing about Tri-5. $500 sled, 599 cc max, and the last five is a high five. This event's all about fun. Having fun on track with old sleds, old school fun, riding with your buddies. But the best part is we're doing all this raising money for Wings for Life. So we're excited, Spinal Cord Research, you know, that's going to be, not only is this event about, about fun, but it's for a good cause. So it equals, you combine the two, equals awesomeness. Competition is looking stiff. I saw a couple XCRs, a 93, 94, the Leaf Spring class. There was a, I saw a couple, uh, a couple of those coming in hot. One had leopard, or no, snake skin seat cover, which... I don't know if it's faster, but he wins on style points, that's for sure. <laughs> so I have to get taped up, so I'm ready. Ready to go. We got driver's meeting here coming up shortly. So I've got about 15 minutes to finish my taping, get dressed, and get the sleds ready for, uh, for practice. Cutting her a little close. I feel like a prize fighter getting taped up. Except for there's no prize. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming off for the first official tri fiber. Really excited to, excited to have it here in the wonderful ERX Motor Park. And it's really, we've done it the last two years. And it's been an absolute riot. So I'm really excited to be able to share all this fun with you. Parade lap practice is about to go down. I'm like, I'm like a kid waiting for Christmas right now. Let me on that track. wrapped up our parade laps and it's like incredible out on the track it is so so fast right now but we literally did six laps and it is already getting chewed up so roughly six minutes of an hour and a half of racing hour and 15 minutes of racing yeah it's gonna get rough out there so I just told him I said make everything take out the split line so it's nice and wide so there's more territory that's smooth because that's what I'm shooting for. That's my strategy. Stay on the smoothness. Out of the rough. Yeah, look at it. I had a mouse nest under it. I dropped the jet underneath the motor. <laughs> I tried to get under there and get after it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
spring sprint, 20 minutes plus one lap. So I made it through that. Now I have a 20 minute plus one lap, uh, 1995 and older sled. And then we go to the Tri-5 race, which is 45 minutes, little grooming break, and then another 30 minutes at the end. But you might say, I'm not in shape to do that. And I said, neither am I. So that's the beauty is you can have teammates. So you can have a teammate for the sprint, and in the Tri-5, you can have up to two other guys, so three total out there on the track. So you get tired, and you say, man, you know what would be really yummy right now? I think a Red Bull. You pull right into the safe zone, have a Red Bull, maybe a sandwich. I got a hot, hot dog on my pipe, so I can have a nice warm sandwich. So I'm gonna swing in for a sandwich midway through, have my Red Bull, go back on course, beat race guys for a little bit, get back off. So turns into just a big fun event, lots of, Lots of action, but lots of fun on uh, is the main thing. So the goal for the future is to expand on this. We have uh, we have a lot of different ideas for the future to try to to grow things on here, and a lot of different ideas to make it even more fun. So that's our goal. Is like at the end of the day, we just want you guys to come out, have fun, ride these old snowmobiles, and you know, I mean, gosh, for a lot of these people, being able to be on a track like ERX, I mean, this is one of the premier snowcross tracks or snowmobile tracks in the world so very cool experience for people to come out try that and for me 1980 TXL yeah you don't get to ride those every day right so I'm pretty excited I gotta go over and let it up though yeah I just it, I maybe maybe some carburation issues maybe because it was starting to get maybe it was just because it was getting hot at the end it was getting kind of fat on me but but yeah, it, uh, it worked. I was like, I was doing everything I could. I said, don't give in to what, because if Venom's out there like jumping into that turn, I'm like, don't give in to that. You gotta maintain the sled, right? Because we got a lot more racing to do. We are about to go in to the main event. The reason everybody came out, the Tri-5. 45 minutes of Fury, a little grooming break, and then go back out for another 30 minutes and it is gonna be awesomeness. The last two races, the two sprints, were awesome. I had to do a mid-race mid uh, sled swap because one of the bolts fell out of my skid, which it probably should because I didn't tighten any of the bolts. <laughs> but, but that's okay. So we had to do a mid-race mid sled swap. Went back out there and was felt really good on the TXL. and felt really strong. So I think I'm gonna start this one on the pole on the 295 when she's smooth and then as it gets rougher I'm gonna just work my way to newer sleds. <laughs>
Oh. That city. was fun. I'm exhausted though. And I didn't even race half of the race. The 45 minutes, I only got like 10 minutes of that. Hats off to everyone for making it. Oh, it's off. So that's a wrap, Tri-5 all wrapped up. We went through all that racing, sprints, Tri-5, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm thoroughly whooped. <laughs> I am whooped doing them all. But there, you know, Chris Kafka made it through all of them, ended up getting the overall, which was amazing, which was amazing. So pumped for him. Or he ended up getting the overall best performance, which was great. So I'm <clears throat> very excited for Chris. And he put me to shame out there, I'll tell you. But what a great event. We had a ton of people, a lot of fun, and everything was ended with high fives. So that's how we're ended.